Good afternoon, everybody. Um, my name's Gillian Dooley. I'm the chair of the Music Advisory Committee at Flinders University. And I'm absolutely delighted to see you all here. And um, I'm, I've been listening to these people warm up and this is going to be a wonderful concert. So um, I'm very glad to see that you're all here and I hope um, all, all the people online will, uh, will also um, enjoy it as much as we do while we're here. Um, so, um, unfortunately, Mark from Recitals Australia isn't quite here yet. He probably will be here during and um, have a chat afterwards. So, um, I think it just uh, remains for me to invite, I'm not going to get this right, Jarana Criolla, <laughs> to come and play for us. Thank you very much. <laughs> Hello everybody. Uh, my name is Eduardo. I'm the guitarist of Harana Criolla. Before the group start playing, before we start playing, uh, we are going to have like a, a classical guitar concert in, at the beginning and then we're going to start going to Peru. So it's going to be like, at first we have like um, Agustin Barrios from Paraguay, then we go to Hector Villalobos from Brazil, then we go to Argentina playing tango um, by Astro Piazzolla, and then we finally end in Peru with Harana Criolla. Okay, um, I hope you all like this concert.
that was a classic of art, one of my favorite pieces um, that, I, well, that I'm sharing with you. Now I'm going to play six studies. And the difference between um, a piece and a study is that study teach us something technically on the guitar. So I'm going to play six studies by Hector Villalobos, a uh, composer from Brazil. Um, first, I'm going to play the Etius 1 and 2 that are basically about arpeggios, about the, how to play with the right hand and how to play with the left hand.
that was the class for arpeggios. Now I'm going to play it in it three and four, that is about slurs and repetitive chords. And then I'm going to play five and six, that are basically about polyphony and repeat um, bar records.
Thank you very much. Now I'm going to play a tango from Argentina by Astro Piazzolla. The name is Invierno Porteño, which means winter from Buenos Aires. Then a couple of pieces from Peru, and then let's go with Helena Criolla.
Thank you very much. Now I would like to invite uh, Nelsie and Juan Luis to come here with me so we can start the Peña. Jarana Criolla means um, it's like it's a party. It's a party with music from Peru. And that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to bring the party to Australia. <laughs> exactly. And um, the first piece that we're going to play is Contigo Peru, which means with you, my Peru. I hope you like it. Thank you. 
play three Peruvian waltzes. The first one is Regresa, Come Back, Como Una Rosa, Like a Rose, and the next one is Propiedad Privada, My Private Property.
great. So the last song is Raíces del Festejo. Festejo is a traditional rhythm, traditional rhythm from Peru, and we play that song with this instrument. This is the cajón. Um, can you play something for us? Uh, you put me on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> That's the cajón. Okay. Thank you very much. I have a little bit about that. Uh, this rhythm, it is like a personal favorite because it was created by the slaves from Africa that went to Peru. And they congregate in the nights after hard days of labor. And ironically, the gender, the translation to English means like celebration, joy. And I found fascinating how these people condemned to such a hard life find a way to escape that reality through music and through such a celebration and joyful music. I think that is uh, quite a parody and I always find it fascinating. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is to enjoy it. This is our very festive music. It's like uh, bringing some, a lot of joy and uh, transmitting through the letters, uh, the lyrics as well. It's like it's a very, very party, very party <laughs> <laughs> music. <laughs>
Hi. Hi. How are you? Sorry that I was late. Terrible. <laughs> South Road got the better of me. Goodness me, there's lots of people here today. How exciting. Um, yes, again, sorry that I was a bit late at the beginning. So thank you very much. What a great day. How nice to have you with us. Yeah, nice to hear you again, Eduardo, of course, as well. Um, I think Gillian probably has done most of the necessary introductions. Would that be a fair comment? I just wanted to mention a couple of things. This series will continue on for the rest of the year. Well, at least for into November anyway. Um, we have pretty amazing concerts actually coming up Certainly next week is a, an amazing pianist called Simon Quintos, um, Pazos Quintana, who is going to be playing here, and he's a really, really good artist, uh, really worth supporting. And then we have another pianist actually after that, which is Sean Hui, um, who will actually also be performing here his program. That's really worth attending both those, if you enjoy piano music, of course, very different to today. Um, and also we have our lunch hour series, which is in the city. They take place in North Adelaide Baptist Church. Um, and this week, coming up on Wednesday at lunchtime, we have a flute recital, which is featuring two Elder Conservatorium flute students with pianist Jamie Cock. Your rather fa fabulous music. If you can't join us physically, you can watch online for free. We stream everything. And if you actually can't do it necessarily on the exact time where we're doing it live, you can watch it at any time afterwards as well. And you share it with your friends. And, you know, Eduardo has done this, I'm sure. It's quite handy, right? Um, and one thing that is really, I wanted to mention that is interesting, if you ever want to watch us or you use Facebook perhaps to connect with us sometimes, we're having a lot of interesting issues at the moment where essentially our artists are really good, obviously. I mean, you know, it's really lovely. And so Facebook has a robot or some sort of artificial intelligence that detects commercial music use. And so they keep muting or censoring effectively all of our live concerts because they think that it's a professional artist like a Sony you know, universal music kind of recording, would you believe? So, which is, it's both a good thing, because in fact the artists are actually very good, um, but it's also a sad thing because all of a sudden, of course, the audience disappears for us, which is, you know, pretty difficult. So if you ever want to watch it, I hardly, hardly, uh, highly recommend you use the website uh, because they can't censor us on our own website. So that's, that's kind of good. Anyway, so... I thought it was wonderful. Thank you for being part of it. And thanks for doing the group too. It was really nice because um, we added that sort of as a last minute thing. So it was really nicely done. So please thank them again. And thank you very much for coming today. Thank you. <laughs>